Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. So thanks again, and I'm gonna jump right into my topic for today, which is men's perfumes, men's colognes, fragrances, whatever word you wanna use. Um, they are either eau de parfum, eau de toilette, or eau de cologne. So a lot of times in the US here, we refer to men's perfumes as colognes, but in fact, they have the same um, EDP, EDT, or cologne designation that women's perfumes do. So I call them perfumes sometimes, sometimes I call them fragrances. Anyway, I don't wanna get too far into the weeds with that. But before I jump into that, my scent of the day is Angel's, um, Mugler's Angel Muse, which I love. It's a beautiful gourmand, delicious. I've talked about it in quite a few videos, including my Mugler video and my um, gourmands video. So, and then my coffee of the day is Starbucks double shot on ice, which is delicious. Yum. So I'm going to jump right into it here. And so I have a lot of bottles in front of me. These are my husband's bottles, um, most of which I've purchased for him. So this is probably way more than he would ever want. And um, because I'm really into fragrance, I've kind of amassed this little collection <laughs> for him. On his behalf, I do wear some of them. I'll kind of get into that as I'm going through. But um, the first one I'm going to talk about is by Dolce & Gabbana, and I just have this little um, travel spray, spray from Fragrance Net, and this is the one Eau de Toilette. It's got bergamot, coriander, basil, cardamom, ginger, neroli, um, cedar, ambergris, and tobacco. So this is a really, really gorgeous, very popular um, fragrance, and it's um, it's just a super beautiful everyday kind of a daily driver I think for men um just gorgeous and highly recommend um I'd like to get a bigger bottle of this someday but uh, we obviously don't need more bottles in this house so <laughs> but D&G the one EDT very popular for a good reason love it the next one I'm going to talk about is Fahrenheit by Dior and this one has been around for many many years in fact my husband wore this way back um I think when we were first dating and so this is a classic and it's another beauty and um just trying to find my little spray there it is so fahrenheit's got lavender mandarin orange hawthorn nutmeg flower cedar bergamot chamomile lemon nutmeg honeysuckle carnation sandalwood violet leaf <laughs> i'm trying to smell and read at the same time and so um, I'll just slow down a little bit here. Violet leaf, jasmine, lily of the valley, cedar, leather, tonka bean, amber, patchouli, musk, and vetiver. So everything you could ever want. And it actually works really well. It's gorgeous. Um, I, I think many of these are really good unisex. And I've said before that all fragrance is truly unisex, but they are marketed towards men or women or sometimes unisex, but generally they're marketed towards men or women. So I think all the ones I'm talking about today are marketed to men. Um, but so many of them are beautiful for all of us. So men, women, any gender. That's Fahrenheit. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is Narciso Rodriguez for him, which I talked about in my Narciso Rodriguez video. And I had trouble with the <laughs> opening the bottle in that video too. So this one is one of my favorite houses, Narciso Rodriguez. This has musk, amber, violet leaf, and patchouli. And it's so um, intoxicating, beautiful. I think many of these are really good daily drivers. Um, this one would be great for night too. I think this is just a super versatile, beautiful um, day or night fragrance by Narciso Rodriguez, the amazing. Um, and then the next one I have was a recommendation from Delicious Delights channel. And this is called um, Oud Vetiver Royale Absolute by Perry Ellis. And it is, as you can imagine, Oud and Mm. Black pepper, Haitian vetiver, juniper, uh, oud, Indonesian patchouli leaf, atlas cedar. So it's very, very dark, heavy, um, I would say wintry, and um, definitely more on the masculine side than some of these. Um, it's really nice, and it's, it's a great bargain if you can find it. Um, there are some other ones from this line that I'd really love to try, but this one is, is a beauty. And so that, again, is Perry Ellis. Oud Vetiver Royale Absolute. Then I have something that I've talked about here before, and that is Dior Sauvage. 
and this is extremely popular. We've got about a half bottle here. Um, a little bit polarizing, but very fresh and pleasant. It's got Calabrian, Bergamot, Ambroxan, and Ambergris. Those were the only notes I could find. So it's not necessarily complex, but I think it's just a, an awesome daily driver. Um, very nice, uh, very fresh, and very popular. So that's Sauvage. And that is the original. I think they just came out with an Eau de Parfum. Yeah, I think this is, I think the original is an EDT and the, the new one is a Parfum. Um, and then this is one I, I don't have a lot of experience with, but we got this little deluxe sample of Kenneth Cole's Mankind Legacy. And I'm gonna spray this one too. I'm not super familiar with it, but I'm kind of curious. It's nice, it's got clary sage, Italian mandarin, nutmeg, balsam fir, pink pepper, rosemary, amorous, vetiver, and cedar. Um, a little bit aquatic, usually when they're kind of this blue color, they tend to have um, a slightly aquatic characteristic. This one's really nice, um, not complicated, reminds me a little bit of CK1, just kind of fresh and um, citrusy, and probably a really nice one for summer, so that's Kenneth Cole's Mankind Legacy. The next one I have, I've talked about here before, and this is from Lolita Lempica. This is Lempica Om, or Men. And this is fabulous. It comes in this beautiful bottle. So this has ivy, absinthe, aniseed, violet, violet wood, orge, orge, excuse me, orgeat syrup, rum, cedarwood, cystus, vanilla, and musk. And as I mentioned before, I get root beer. I'm not sure why, um, but... This is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of that original DNA from Lolita Lampica, but they've um, made it slightly more masculine, quote unquote, and it's really nice. So that's the Ohm version. It's also uh, marketed as vegan. And something new for us, which is kind of more mine than his, but this is uh, Lolita Lampica Green Lover, which I talked about in my Perfumes I Wanna Try in 2020 video. And I was so excited to find this on Fragrance Net. This is just a tester that I got, but I don't know. I was just surfing on there one day, like I tend to do. And I found this one uh, for, I don't know, 25 bucks or something really cheap. And I really like it. It's a really, really nice. Um, it's got green mandarin, pepper, gin, juniper berries, mint, Madagascar, vanilla, and musk. Um, it's kind of marketed as more summery, but I think this could, this would be beautiful year round. And so this is Lempica Green Lover, and it's a very unisex, beautiful, um, got the DNA from Lolita Lempica, and I do recommend this. Not super easy to find in the U.S. yet, but really nice, and I hope it, it becomes more available here. Um, when you buy testers on FragranceNet, they haven't been used. They just don't come with a cap, so I'm guessing this one would have a cap very similar to this one. Um, actually, I think it's got a glass cap, which it's just, I think these bottles are gorgeous. Um, but the testers on Fragrance Net aren't used. They're just, um, they're just marketed as testers, so they don't come with a cap. And the next one I have is a very popular one by Versace. This is called Eros, which means love. And it's got this kind of funky bottle and it's a nice, fresh, pretty uh, mint oil with green apple, Italian lemon, tonka, Venezuelan ambroxan, geranium flowers, give it a fougere twist, fougere twist, excuse me. Um, definitely get that ambroxan. It's pretty strong, um, pretty youthful. I think a lot of younger guys like to wear this one, but it's a nice one and it's fresh. And the thing with these is you just, you, you never want to overdo any perfume, I think, but especially when it's ambroxan, that can get really heavy and really cloying. So with the men's um, fragrances in particular, you just want to go pretty light, like two sprays usually. Should do the trick. So next I have a pretty popular one. This is called Kiehl's Original Musk. This has orange blossom, bergamot, lily, neroli, ylang ylang, rose, tonka bean, musk, and patchouli. A lot of similarity of notes across these. And this is, this is very pretty. Um, some people say it's kind of a dirty musk, but I think it, it's not clean. It does have a, a little bit more of an earthy vibe though, than, um, some of these other ones. So this, this is nice. I think it's a little more mature perhaps than some of like 
especially like when you compare these two, much more mature, um, quote unquote. I mean, anyone can wear anything that they like. So, um, so yeah, that's Kiehl's Original Musk. It's a very good, um, good deal. I think it's like $40 at Ulta. So it's a good one. And then one of my favorites, and this bottle is almost gone. This is Clinique Happy for Men. Comes in a women's and a men's. I just, I really love this. It's so, it is, I mean, it just reminds me of happy. And so it's lime, green notes, mandarin, orange, lemon, sea notes, freesia, jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, cypress, musk, guac, wood, and cedar. And it's just a really citrusy, nice, super um, office friendly, summer, summery fragrance. And you just can't go wrong with this one. I think it's, it's gorgeous. It's underrated in my opinion. And I love, love this one. I don't like the women's version actually as much as the men's version of happy, but that's that one. And then I have this one here. This is um, from Armoff. This is Club de, nu Club de Nuit Intense Man. And this is a supposed dupe for Creed's Aventus. Um, I don't know if we lost our cap or if we bought a tester of this one, but um, I think this is nice. Um, I, I have not a lot of experience with Aventus. But Aventus is very popular and kind of divisive. People seem to either love it or hate it. But this is nice. It's got lemon, blackcurrant, apple, bergamot, pineapple, rose, jasmine, birch, vanilla, ambergris, musk, and patchouli. And I, I really like this one. Um, I smelled Aventus at Nordstrom in the store fairly recently. And I don't know if I got like, I don't know. I just didn't like it. It was, I don't know if I sprayed wrong or if the bottle was off but it just smelled extremely chemically to me and I didn't care for it at all so I do like this this um Club de Nuit Intense Man is nice so um I don't know I need to try Aventus a little more just to see if if I just had a weird experience that day or if it truly is something that I just don't care for so uh the next one I talked about previously um in my Mugler video and this is um Angel Men or Amen from Thierry Mugler and I love this one it's got Patchouli, Atlas Cedar, Mint, Lavender, um, Coffee, Styrax, Musk, and Tonka. I think it's got more than that. And it's so beautiful. Mm. I love this one. So like I said, my, my scent of the day today is Angel Muse. And there's so much um, similarity between the Angel line and some of them. So this is, this is actually very similar to the women's version, the Eau de Parfum for women of Angel, but this is a little bit more quote unquote masculine and it's beautiful and very popular. So I definitely recommend that one. Uh, then I have another uh, fragrance nut tester or not tester, travel spray. And this is from YSL. This is La Nuit de L'Homme. And this is a gorgeous one. Not to get a bottle. Very popular. Oh, it's beautiful. Cardamom, bergamot, Lavender, cedar, cumin, vetiver. It's so beautiful. Um, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de L'Homme. Very popular for a good reason. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, except this is just a beautiful daily driver, kind of a office friendly fragrance, and I highly recommend it. Popular for a good reason. Then I have um, Cool Water by Davidoff. And it looks like this. It's in this nice blue bottle. And it's uh, it's an oldie but goodie. It's been around for a long time. It's very popular. Ooh. It just kind of hit me with that, that summery vibe. It's mint, um, lavender, coriander, rosemary, geranium, neroli, jasmine, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, amber, tobacco. Very nice. Very fresh and refreshing. It's cool water. I think it's it's named appropriately and it's a classic. It's really popular. It's very cheap on FragranceNet and quite lovely. Then I have a sample of a very popular one that is really nice. It's Azaro's Wanted by Night. And I'm just going to spray this one. We just have a few samples of this. We haven't bought this one either, but it's really nice. It's got um, exotic woods and spices, um, cinnamon, red cedar, and tobacco. And it, it is a kind of a night, I would say more of a night appropriate fragrance. And it's, it's quite intoxicating and beautiful. 
So that's Azaro's Wanted by Night, very popular. Definitely get those kind of um, cinnamony, um, warm spices, so very pretty. Um, then we have this one that's fairly new. I um, heard about this one from Mark from Robes 08, and this is Gucci Guilty Absolute, and I was watching his um, his top 50 um, affordable fragrances, which I'll link in the cards, and uh, this just sounded so beautiful, so I had to pick it up, and it is beautiful. Uh, so it's got um, vetiver, well, the base captures golden wood and vetiver from the brand created using a particular blend with a structure that remains unchanged from the first time it's applied to the skin. Leather Accord and golden wood are custom mixed with natural extract of the Nootka Cypress selected especially for Gucci Guilty Absolute. The resulting scent features ultra dry woody notes. The fragrance's composition is intensified with three forms of patchouli oils and earthy vetiver. And it is very earthy and you can get that tobacco and it's really beautiful. And so um, I'm gonna be wearing this one too. So the next one I have is, actually that is it. I do have Guerlain's Ideal Cologne, which I forgot to grab. Um, so I will grab that one, but I also wanted to talk about a couple that my husband used up. He used up the um, Gucci Guilty original, which has lavender, lemon, um, orange blossom, um, cedar and patchouli. That was beautiful. He used up the whole bottle, gorgeous. He also used up a bottle of Spice Bomb which is extremely popular. And that has um, blended spices with sensual undertones, creating two diametrically opposed fragrant accords. One, the addictive and fiery one, and two, the explosive and icy one. The fiery accord contains notes of chili, saffron, leather, tobacco, and vetiver. The explosive one includes bergamot, grapefruit, alumi, and pink pepper. So um, a lot of flankers, um, there's a lot of flankers for a lot of these, these perfumes, including Spice Bomb. Um, I tried the um, Spice Bomb Intense Flanker. Didn't really care for it personally. I know it's very popular. So um, I'm gonna grab my um, Ideal Cologne from Guerlain and I'll be right back. The reason I forgot to grab this one is because it lives over on my shelf. It doesn't live in his in his cologne area. So um, it's really nice and I can't, I haven't worn it a lot because I think it's, it's a little more summery to me. And it's so beautiful. Um, I think I heard about this through Delicious Delights as well. She has so many great recommendations. Um, Arlene, I love your channel and um, and your recommendations. She's got the most beautiful taste. So um, let's see. This has orange, bergamot, pink pepper, grapefruit, almonds, neroli, light musk, light white musk, and strong vetiver. And I love this. Um, it's just um, it's really a masterpiece and I'm really excited that I got it. I think I got a pretty good deal on fragrance net. And so that kind of wraps up all of the um, men's perfumes that I have today. And so I'm really curious, what are your favorite men's perfumes for, um, you know, whether you're a man, woman, or other genders, let me know what your favorite perfumes are that are marketed towards men's men. And um, thank you for joining me today. I'm really glad you, um, you stopped by and please um, hit the like button if you like this video and please feel free to give it a thumbs down if you did not like the video. So thank you again and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.